I'm Tammy Brawley from the Green Kitchen and we are here at a special outdoor edition at Old Tavern Farm in New Kent. I am here today to show you how to eat healthy in the winter. We have a delicious winter squash salad we're going to be making with a, a fall flavored dressing. I'm very excited to show you that. So we're going to start with our dressing and what we're going to do is we are going to turn our burner on and we're going to add three tablespoons of maple syrup to our little small pot. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of water. And then here comes some nice warm spices. We have got a cinnamon stick, allspice berries, a clove, and a star anise. Star anise, these things are found kind of in your um, Asian markets. But we're going to throw those in there. And we're going to let that simmer for about three minutes or so. It's going to get a little thick. And then you want to add about a half a teaspoon of fresh ginger. Ginger is absolutely one of the healthiest things you can eat. And this is what it looks like in the store, minus a little bit of peel. You do want to peel that off. Take a, a grater or a rasp and scrape that into your dressing that's in the pot. In the meantime, we'll talk about the squashes that go on top of this delicious salad. We're using today, we're using a spaghetti squash. We're using a butternut squash and an acorn squash. When you get these squashes, I know they're very difficult to cut, and I always like to give the tip that if you put them in the microwave for about three to five minutes, they will soften up, and they're much easier to cut, much easier to peel, much easier to split. And what happens when you get them is they all have seeds in the middle of them. So once you have cut it in half, then you want to scrape those seeds out with a spoon. Well, at least with the butternut, you want to actually peel the butternut and then cut it into dice or dice it. The spaghetti squash can be roasted whole after you've taken out the seeds. When you roast them, you want to go face down, cut side down on a pan. You want to toss them with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then put them in about a 400 degree, 425, depends on your oven, oven, and then let them roast. Um, and then what we've got here is we've got the spaghetti squash we've already scraped. But what happens is once it's uh, roasted, this is what it looks like. You want to simply scrape out your squash. And then the uh, acorn squash is one of the squashes that's actually edible with the skin. So I don't actually peel that one. I cut it into slices, put it again in the oven, the same temperature. And then when they're roasted, um, they are absolutely delicious flavor. So now this is thickened up a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to strain it. This is that delicious dressing. We're going to strain that into a container with a lid. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And we're going to add about a third cup of walnut oil. Um, there's also pumpkin oil out there. If you can find it, it's absolutely delicious in the fall as well. But a walnut oil is a little lighter, very nutty, of course. And we want to add that to our container with a lid. Now you can certainly do this with a hand mixer if you'd like. I simply like to find a, a vessel that has a lid and I'll shake it up. And what we're doing basically is we're emulsifying. We're trying to get two liquids together that don't want to get married. And that's the oil and the vinegar. So now we've got maple syrup, apple cider vinegar. We've got star anise, cinnamon, cloves. Oh, absolutely delicious. And then you want to take some nice greens, put them into a bowl, sort of out of camera there, sorry about that. And we want to dress it very lightly. Anytime you dress a salad, whether it's summer or winter, you don't want a lot of dressing. You just want it kind of glistening. So we're going to toss that up a little bit. Then have your plate ready to plate. Oh, this looks perfect. These beautiful greens grown right here in Virginia. We absolutely love that. And then you want to come on top of these greens with your delicious squash that you've roasted. And then one of the most delicious things about this salad that I love to work with is candied pecans. I love to take the pecans, there'll be directions in the recipe when you um, access that. The pecans are a little bit of sugar, cinnamon, and a little bit of egg white put into a low temperature oven for about an hour. So you've given this squash, or this salad, excuse me, a little bit of sweetness as well, in addition to the sweetness of the squash. 
So there you have it, a delicious winter squash salad. Great way to stay healthy in the winter.